Hi, my name is Kate Hanrahan. I'm a teaching artist here at the International School of Louisiana. And we have been working on some STEM curriculum with third grade. And what STEM curriculum is, it combines science and art, which was really exciting for the kids to do. And it was based around going outside, exploring our environment, finding native foliage. We went to Washington Square Park to find leaves for our shirts so we can set them out in the sun so they can dry on the paint and make a pretty design. The name of my t-shirt is The Beach and I like it because we mix the art with science. Make it look like a sunset or it can be under water or it can be almost anywhere that you can think of. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That turned out so cool! And then the kids got to take the the plants and leaves off their shirt and it revealed this, these beautiful patterns that they made. I think it's fun and it's creative by using your imagination to make um, a sun painting. For a t-shirt. Yeah. Our project was to do an endangered species. And I know that not a lot of people know about turtles. And mostly, people never hear about gray wolves anymore. They just think gray wolves are just a regular wolf. My postcard, it's a green sea turtle. It's one of the endangered species. My next step is to unwrap this and then put paint over it and then like start stamping it over three papers. Ready? Hopefully this works. Learn. Whoa! Oh, it worked! There's Roman's first print. I thought it was a very um, explorative sort of process and for us to have more of a conversation about um, things that are more local to the area. Kind of like when you share it, when you use it as a postcard like we are doing, it reminds other people that we still need to take care of this because if we don't take care of our environment, it might not be anymore. They can still use their imagination a lot, but it, I think it gets the wheels turning up there a little more, you know? I use my imagination to create something fun. She said she found a lot of art inside of us. 